hello in this tutorial i am going to explain this bar bending schedule sheet to you now before creating bbs or bar bending schedule it is very important to understand this sheet because we are going to create all of our bbs over here so let's get started the first one over here is serial number okay the second one over here you can see we have member okay whether it is slab column beam okay or foundation it could be any member you can write over here okay next to it size of that particular member mean length breadth and the height or it could be depth as well okay next to it you need to add here the bar detail okay mean particular placing of bar whether it is main bar distribution bar longitudinal bar stirrups okay you need to enter here the bar detail next to it uh, you need to enter here the spacing of bar mean center to center spacing i have already explained what is spacing okay in bbs basic so you need to first uh, understand the bbs basic if you are beginner okay then come here and watch this video next to it uh, we need to draw here bar shape as well okay i'll let you know about how we can draw the bar shape next to it uh, we need to add here what the bend directions according to our bars in the angles okay whether it is 45 degree bend i have already explained uh, how we can find out 45 degree bend mean 1d then 90 degree bend 135 okay 180 degree or if in your case uh, if you have any other kind of bend you can add over here okay according to your need you can change this as well okay next to it we have bend or development length okay if you have any kind of bend in the bar you can add it over here okay the detail regarding that whether it is 9d 12d 16d okay it could be any or whether it is development length you can add it over here okay next to it uh, we have dia bar and it is in number because we are working in fps system so dia will be in numbers later on when we need we can change it to inches as well now next to it we have concrete cover we need to enter here the concrete cover as well and then we will find out number of bars over here in this cell okay so number of bars we know the formula basically is span divided by spacing plus 1 will give us the number of bars okay so here we have already give the detail regarding the bars okay sorry the members length breadth and the height okay whether the span is length or breadth or height okay it could be any span in uh, in stirrup case it could be height and in foundation main bars it could be breadth or the length as well okay for the distribution bar so all you need to do is you need to do what in order to find out total number of bars a uh, number of bar sorry it will be equal to span right now let's take an example regarding this one span as length so length divided by spacing okay so spacing we have over here okay uh, spacing of bar uh, whether it is 16 inch center, center 9 inch 8 inch okay span divided by spacing plus 1 will give us what number of bars okay multiply by number of members so number of members mean how many same members we have like if we have c1 column okay so in our plan we have a four c1 column mean the size of column is same so we will put here number s4 because when we will find out the quantity of one column we, we can multiply it with the number of members in order to find out for all of fours okay now next to it we need to find out total numbers and total numbers will be equal to number of bars multiplied by number of members okay so it will give us what the total numbers okay uh, next to it uh, we have total length over here at the end we need to find out the total length I mean total cut length not one piece only the total so how we can find out this one basically when we will create a shape over here for the bar okay from that particular shape we can cr uh, find out the cut length of one bar okay so cut length of one bar multiply by 
total numbers will give us the total length let me just give you the example over here because this is very important to understand before creating the bbs so let's create a shape over here okay let's suppose i'll create one shape over here this is straight shape okay so uh, let's suppose our cut length okay let me just find out the cut length over here uh, uh, here okay i'll put it as 10 and uh, then i'll put the concrete cover okay this is just an example for you 0.5 inch okay so i want to just uh, find out the cut length let's suppose uh, this is in, in this direction in 10 direction okay so equal to uh, i'll just uh, select this one okay length minus concrete cover from both side will give us the cut length so cut cut length over here is uh, 9 feet are inches okay right now let's take it in inches okay because we have detect this inches over here so this is basically in inches so this is cut length of one bar if we have any band we can detect that particular band as well okay cut length multiply by let's suppose the total number over here are 20 so what will be the total length that will be equal to cut length okay let me start the formula over here okay so cut length multiply by total numbers okay this is total numbers it will give us what the total length right now if the cut length is in inches we need to divide it on 12 in order to convert inches into feet okay so hit enter so this is basically our total length okay hope you really understand this one okay so this was just an example and let me undo this all okay and again done from here and after finding the total length okay over here in fit next to it you can see one another total length and under this we have dia bar three number bar four number bar five number bar six number bar okay so according to our dia okay our cut length will be added under that particular dia let's suppose we have dia over here as three number okay uh, let me just give you the example over here let's suppose our dia is three number okay so and the total length over here is 10 feet hit enter so according to this dia uh, we have put one of the formula over here and uh, this 10 is under right now 10 is under right now 3 number dia okay let me just change the dia over here and you can see the change over here number 4 so right now it is under number 4 so according to the dia that we will put over here uh, the length will be jump under that particular or under that concern uh, number dia okay whether it's three four five six seven eight you can put this formula over here okay so according to your need this is very important formula okay let me just add here five okay you can see right now it is under number five so the total length will be jump under the concern dia when you will put the dia over here and it will automatically jump to that particular dia okay so this is very important formula and let me just add here six as well okay so you can see over here so let's uh, look about this formula this is very important formula okay so formula is over here you can see let me just explain it to you i have just give here conditions and i have give two of the conditions okay so if r4 is equal to three right now i am under number three column so r4 is what this one okay this one is r4 remember this okay so if r4 is equal to 3 mean if the dia of the uh, stirrup uh, sorry the dia of the steel is number 3 then take the value of y4 this is y4 okay and i have give another condition if r4 not less than not greater than okay this is very important condition okay if r4 not less than not greater than 3 then take this value over here okay this is another condition and then we have put here the comma double quotes again double quotes and two brackets over here to fulfill this formula okay so 
through this formula whenever i'll put here 3 and if we will have any kind of data over here automatically that particular value will be jump in that particular column three number column and if it is four then it will jump into that particular four number columns okay uh, so right now for four number you can see if r is equal to right now four okay then take the value of y4 this one and if r4 this one not less than not greater than four then take this value so remember this formula this is very important formula okay so what is this formula first of all we need to go with if condition is equal to if condition start the bracket okay r4 where you want to just put the dia is equal to and you need to give here the dia condition okay under 3 it is 3 under 4 it is 4 under 5 it is 5 and under 6 it is 6 okay so r is equal to right now we are under 3 so r is equal to 3 then take the value of what this one okay but again the condition if r4 start the bracket if r4 not less than not greater than uh, 3 then take this value okay so through this formula uh, we can put the values over here okay so this is very important and i uh, hope you really understand uh, the formula okay if not uh, watch this again okay and uh, you can write down this formula as well okay and you can use this in your excel sheet as well okay copy this formula okay and use it in your excel sheet and try to use this one okay uh, next to it when we will create bbs you can understand fully as well okay done from here uh, hope you really understand uh, up to this position okay this one and the formula as well now at the end what we need to do is we need to find out the total weight of the steel this is our main aim okay so to do so uh, here i have just create uh, one of the format or where the first one over here is the total length total length okay you can see i have used some formula right from this position up till this position okay so sum of all of the values under number three columns okay and then sum of all of values under four columns number four and number five and number six so this will be the total length when we will find out uh, the different steel over here under number three number four number five whether it could be any number of steel okay from the drawing and the values will be go here in the total length okay then next to it we need to find out the unit weight in kg for number three for number four i have already explained in barbonic schedule basic how we can find out the unit weight as well okay so for unit weight okay formula is d square and d here is number three okay d square divided by 24 divided by 2.204 okay this is the formula d square divided by 24 divided by 2.204 so this is its unit weight for number three for number four and uh, d square divided by 24 d two divided by 2.204 this is a number four okay i have just uh, select cell from here and you can see with this cell we have number four as well due to some formatting uh, we can put like the value like this okay uh, in this bar you can see this is only four but here it is a number four okay so i'll let you know about this how we can just do this kind of formatting as well okay the next to it we have number five okay d square divided by 24 divided by 2.204 number six as well so this is unit weight and total weight in kg will be equal to what total length multiplied by unit weight okay it will give us what the total weight in kg this multiply by this this multiply by this okay and total weight in ton will be equal to what we now in 1000 kg we have one ton okay or in one ton we have 1000 kg so we will divide this value on 1000 in order to convert it into tons okay so this is also very important to understand now in next tutorial uh, one another thing i'll just i'll just let you know about some of the formatting like how we can just put this kind of format over here okay number four number three and then again one more formatting uh, let's suppose if you will put here six okay and automatically you can see here we have six in center to center okay so uh, this is very important to understand this formatting as well i'll let you know about how we can put this formatting okay 
So hope you really understand the session. I'll see you in the next.